Capos' culture is quite unique, making us sleep in a hammock. Isn't it exciting, though? Yeah, it's like an adventure. I know it's interesting and all, but what if y'all fell while sleeping? Whoa, what is this? It's wobbly. Whoa, that's amazing, QQ. You should try and ride it, though, Hermana. Whoa, it's really wobbling. Sis Angie, we're really gonna be alright on this. Hermana. I don't have a good feeling about this, but why not? Whoa, nice. It's more comfortable than I imagined. Ilya, do not swing it too much or else you might get sick. I'm fine, see? Then let's go to sleep. Er, Ilya? I feel sick. Huh? You okay? It's only natural since she kept swinging like a hyperactive child. Cecilia, you okay? You got too excited. If you puke and fell, it might have hurt. Am I might too, you hear? I'm fine. I'm just gonna lie there for a bit. You got what you deserved. Oh, there's another skit? Wait. Hey, what did the innkeeper mean when they said extra fun? See, so you finally got an interest in that, huh, Ruka? I'm very proud of you. What's with the smile, Spada? You're talking about that, aren't you? Hey, it might be a magic show or something. We don't know if it's that. But the magic show sounds really fun. Now let's sneak out later and check it out. Hey, what are you two scheming? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing. Spada, I know that expression. Get it through your head. An opponent that knows what you're thinking can easily get the better of you. Be careful. Thanks for the heads up, old man. Spoil sport. Come on, let's move, Ruka. So that service is worth a hundred gold. Damn it, it's too expensive. At any rate, it's a little too early for those kids to experience that. Damn, Ricardo! I definitely have to know what the extra fun is. Oh, Ricardo. One more? It's late, we should stop and rest a while. True, we ended up moving a lot, so I uh, want to take my time and rest out for a bit. Forget that this inn had hammocks and not beds. Oh yeah, last time we were here, Cecilia swung on the hammock. Too much of an ended up... Too much and ended up getting sick. Make sure not to do it again, Elia. I got it, okay? I don't want to feel that way again. Well then, good night. Ow. To hell with this, I hate this piece of... That's the third time Elia fell. Is she okay? We should prepare something for Elia the rest of the next time this happens. Right. I'd say she deserves it, personally. Hey, I've been wondering for a while now, but why is there a flower in the room who stayed in? Now that you mention it, yeah. Is that not from QQ? So then Sis QQ was the one leaving it. Let's ask her when she returns. Sis QQ, can I ask you something? Yeah, what is it? Were you the one leaving the flowers on the table in the room we've been staying in? Yeah, room lonely, so QQ picked flowers for the room. Oh, thank you for always leaving these pretty flowers, QQ. The nice smell helps me sleep more soundly, too. Yeah, it's really, really relaxing. Really? That makes QQ happy. Don't suddenly hug us, Sis QQ. However, this is just how QQ expresses her joy, correct? What's a bond? I'm broke, so I feel like I'm not going to be able to see all these skits, but at the same time, more skits. I'll be going out for a while. Don't bother staying out for me. You, you, you brat should go to sleep. At this hour? Where's he heading off to? Who knows? He might have taken up all sorts of jobs. You're both too slow, man. If he's going out this late, it's gotta be that. Huh? We both have to go after him. I don't really get it, but I don't think we should bother him. It's fine. He's just trying to have fun. Look, we have to hurry before we lose him. Hey, wait. I'm going to watch the room, so bye. Weird. He should be around here. Isn't that him? Oh yeah, let's go. Huh? We lost him again? Damn it, that old man's fast. Why don't we return back to our room? It's already this late and we might end up making Elia worry. Right, let's go back. Oh, finally. That took longer than I thought it would have. Still, spot of stubbornness is quite troublesome. Time to head out. <laughs> Ricardo, what are you doing? Alright, we're done. I'm glad I had enough gold to see all those skits.
Yuki and Hermana have a bond skit. You remember everybody's name. Some, but it's hard. True, and I must have to remember words too. Must be hard. Ah, uh, Hermana, everybody calls me Hermie. That scrawny fellow over there is Ruka Bro. The one with the two guns is Cecilia, and the one with the weird hat is Spada. The pretty lady in the white dress is Ange, and the two old men are Ricardo and Conway. And this one here's our emergency food. You're gonna eat Coda? Coda's not delicious, though. That's what they all say. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. At times like these, you gotta exclaim, But why? Loudly. But Coda didn't hear your joke earlier. Ah, so we can we cook it with skin? Hermana was joking just now, though. No, don't eat Coda. I'd say we eat Coda. I think it'd be kind of fun. Hey, Ruka. I know that memory spring's important and all, but why don't we check the orchard for a bit? Well, I'm a bit curious about it, but we have to look for information about the memory spring. He's right, you know, Hermana. But why not? Let's go check it out for a bit. Yeah, what's this Ange said? Now nah, that's decided. We should hurry. Let's get... There's a chest over there? Oh, Wonder Chef. I once again shall bring happiness to the world. The wonderful chef, Wonder Chef. I'll show you how to make crepes. The crepes are actually pretty good. Bum, bum, bum. What the heck is that orchard? I want this chest first. It's pink? This is a treasure chest, right? Why well, is it on the beach? It might have washed ashore from somewhere, perhaps from a sinking ship. I wonder what's in it. Well, we'll have to open it and find out. Who knows, there might be some treasure inside it. I call dibs on the treasure box. Hey, no calling dibs, that's unfair. Calling dibs is entirely fair. First come, first serve. Hermana, Elia, how many times do I have to tell you not to fight? It's quite refreshing seeing you all be true to yourselves. <laughs> no good, this fella's locked tight. Boo, just when we found one too. Is this where the key goes in? This is QQ, don't tell me you're... No, oh, I get it, you're... Opened. Hey, thank you so much, QQ. What about the treasure? What's in it? This. Oh. I figured there'd be something gold or something in it. How unfortunate. At the very least, it's something we can use, not worth soaking about. Still, I got my hopes up, you know? Reality's not that kind. I know that very well. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, well, we might not find some now, but there's always next time. You really think that another treasure chest is gonna wash ashore here again? I think it's possible. After all, the town is not really making a big fuss out of this chest, so it might be a regular occurrence. Then, we come here again. Wait for me, my treasure! A stun bracelet? I mean, like, that's not really a good treasure to get, to be honest. Those are not that rare. Now, where the heck is this orchard I need to go to? All the fruits grown in the plantation are for Regnum. We're not allowed to eat any of them. Lately, we've been losing more and more fruit because some weird kid has been raiding our orchards. There's nothing but the jungle outside the city. It's dangerous since it's filled with ravenous animals. No one ever goes there. Make sure to never go there by mistake. Fine. Oh, apple. I'll just do that so it stays open. Whenever all the rooms are filled, the innkeeper will rent the hammock instead. The tourists actually prefer that over the rooms. Bum, bum, bum. Jeez, what's up with brats these days? Do they think they can just get away with their mischief? Is it this way? <gasps> Reckon this is the orchard. The boy and his beast went through here and devastated the fruits. If the finder remind me to give him the a good beating. I don't know if I said it before, but this town sure is humid. I can smell it. Sheesh, Hermana. I know I haven't taken a bath yet, but I'm not. That's not it. I know this smell. It smells like dog. 
Hermana, you're more like a dog, you know? I can smell it somewhere around here. Like a dog. A girl with a dog-like sense of smell that does not even miss even the slightest odor. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize there were two, like, exits to the city. Or the village. Elia, did your headache stop? Oh yeah, I'm completely fine. I wonder if it's because of the climate. Well, moving from a super hot climate to a nice one is the opposite of annoying. Oh right, since you grew up in the southwest, I suppose this is just the right amount of heat for you. And that means that we won't have to listen to your tantrums for a while, Elia. Isn't that nice? Didn't have to bring it up, Ruka. Well, I suppose Ruka does love listening to my angry voice, doesn't he? Oh crap, it's been a while since I got carried away, I'm sorry. This music. Body of happiness. Curious about Ange? What's a diet? Ah, oh, you're talking about Ange's diet obsession, huh? She's been worried about her figure lately, you see? Like if she should slim down a bit and the like. Is Ange heavy? QQ don't think so. That's what we're all saying! Am I imagining things or did I just hear you two have any appropriate dis inappropriate discussion? Huh? What? Oh, it's not that. QQ think that Ange is fine, no need to slim. Huh? Is that so? But if only I, I were a bit... You're fine. As QQ said, you don't have to worry about your figure. QQ thinks Ange's body is a body of happiness. QQ jealous, eating important. You understand, QQ? You're right, I'm just happy as long as we have food. Right, that's why you don't have to force yourself to diet. Hmm, but this and that are not really the same thing, are they? QQ wants to have Ange's body. Ange's body is body of happiness, no need to slim. Oh, these things. These things are from Tales of Symphonia. They're in the Torrent Forest. Oh, your spear, like, glows? What the heck? That's pretty cool. Wait, this is a... it's a base art. Oh, an aerial rush only connects if you get the whole hit. Okay. The heck? Let me get this stupid bug. Ooh, that one like brings them in. If we can get like a base to base combo with QQ, that'd be really nice. Bum, bum. I see some treasure over this way. I just figured there'd be treasure. Not the Verbena. Which one? What are base arts here? Dual impact, prism walls. What if I did? Ooh, that's a good combo with the with the neutral then. Our right, QQ seems really fun. I can get used to this. Honestly, I think QQ and Spada are more fun to play than Ruka, to be real with you. Although Ruka, I do kind of like Ruka's play style. I honestly might prefer QQ and Spada's though, to be real with you. Hey, haven't we all grown kind of strong? Yeah, it kind of feels that way too. If you ask me, we still have a lot farther to go in my eyes. We're nothing but the newborn babes, still learning the walk. You think so? I think we've been working really hard. Why are you using Hermana's accent? I think so too. I've never held a sword until the time I met Elia. Looking back, I think I've grown a lot. From what I've seen, you just started taking your first steps towards strength. The way you are, you'll never grow up if you give in to pride. So do you mean we still have some room to grow? Yeah, I think you could use- you could still raise your level sevenfold. That's a pretty specific assumption. What was that skit? 
So I change the clothes, apparently. Take him down. What do you mean, take him down? What does that mean? These missions need to stop being- It's a spider, I'm killing it. These missions need to stop being vague. Hey, Kongo, you wanna look Mystic Art? That'd be nice. I knew that was gonna happen because I'm not good at the blocking system. Yeah, I was trying to get the Mystic Art at the last second, but the battle ended. Oh, combo amateur. Yes, I managed to get 30 hits in. Oh, not bad. Don't know, man. Looks like you still have a long way to go. Do you really think so? I think I've done the most I can. Your limits, huh? But you know, you might learn more skills later on. Yeah, you might end up learning skills that can deal more hits along the way. Pretty much you'll get more, way more hits from now on. You're right, I'll do my best. Man, we've been going on from one hot place to another, and my clothes are all soaked with sweat. How terrible. You're one to talk. Aren't you wearing long sleeves under that long coat of yours? This kind of clothing is appropriate on the battlefield. It's thick fabric can even repel bullets. It's also a matter of enduring the heat, heaviness, and stinkiness of wearing such clothes. But I can't endure that, though. How about you, Conway? You all right in those? These might look heavy, but they are actually quite light. The amount of heat is no problem. On that note, even if you look comfortable while in Garum, Ugh, Ricardo, you stink of sweat. Heck, you stink of more than sweat. Go wash that damn coat of yours. Oh, now that you mention it, I should. Damn, Conway, you should look comfortable in that. You don't stink either. I've never been a sweaty person after all. Even when we were in Garm? So you're telling me that you didn't sweat in a volcano? Are you even alive? You're in the talk, Elia. Your clothes look comfortable. Scarf aside. Back where I'm from, you need a scarf if you don't want dust in your clothing. No, that's not much of a problem here. By the way, Ange and Spyro look pissed off in the heat. In contrast, Hermana and QQ are fine. Their clothes look so comfortable. Hermana's showing too much skin. I'm so looking forward to washing her side. Oh right, she's bound to get sunburn from those. I'm so totally gonna tease her. You're just the worst, aren't you? I wonder if Elia's stomach gets sunburned sometimes. That's a bond up. Hello. Actually, wait, you guys casting. I should get you first. Ow. Someone want to heal me? Ange, preferably. Thank you. Yo, Demon's Lance? That's sick. That's a sick animation. The okay, aerial rush is very hard to hit with. It's a good skill when it connects, but not an easy skill to connect. Ange and I. I will watch Ange and I when I feel necessary. Why are there a bunch of widows here? Spiders? These spiders? How dare they invade this orchard? Thinking that they have rights or whatever. Die. Is QQ very good or whatever you said? What is Koda? Hey, oh, we have a little gimmick here? This reminds me of Star Ocean 3, that one portion in the Douglas Forest where you gotta, like, go up with the boulders or whatever. Say, what are those thorny round things that are rolling down the hill? Looks like fruit. How odd. It looks so tasty. No, you cannot. Food that, that falls on the ground makes you sick. Don't let's sell it. You cannot sell it either. Even if we carry these home, just holding them is gonna hurt. You're right, let's be careful. Such a waste. Wait, there was a... I'll watch this one first. Ange, back in Garm. I'm sorry I was unconscious for three days. I troubled you all. It's fine. I keep pressing X to skip the dialogue, like, extra fast. If anything, I believe everyone was grateful that you were asleep. Because, again, in this game, O is the button to confirm because it's Japan only. 
Oh, that's a bit mean. Then would you be happier if everyone paid attention to you the whole time? No, if they did that, I'd feel bad. See, there are times we need not worry about everyone else. You're right, I thought that everyone would hate me if I wasn't considerate enough. By the way, how'd you enjoy yourself? I went to the hot springs. It's the first time I have been to Garm's hot springs. Thanks to it, my skin is all smooth. Would you like to feel it? Huh? I'm fine. I'm just kidding. You really are a boy. What is happening? Uh, are you okay, Ange? I believe I've grown quite tired. I never imagined I would be fighting with a weapon. Is Ange bad at moving? Compared to you, I'm nowhere near as agile. Yuki's body is light, so moving very fun. Oof. Moving with heavy body, not fun. Miss QQ, please stop saying such hurtful things. Huh? You did more harm than good to our tired sis Ange. 